guys? Probably you are wondering if you have seen the videos before how to size a CSTR and how to size a PFR. This is plug flow reactor and this is continuous steer re tank reactor. So if you've done the problems and hopefully you've done it, if not, go back and check them. You will see then that you get always different volumes depending on the type of reactor you use. Actually, you use the same reaction but different reactors. So this is due to the way we are calculating the volume. The CSTR is an algebraic concept which is essentially base time height and the PFR is an integral concept which is essentially the area under this curve. So when do we use a CSTR and when do we use a PFR? Uh, this is a tricky question but it's uh, very important especially if you're a reactor engineer because the main concept here is to assume that the volume or minima minimize the volume is the important here or the priority so we want to decrease the volume so which one shall we use CSTR, PFR in which uh, you want to know that because you don't want to be doing a reactor and then you present it to the projects and they tell you hey, it's too huge, why is it too huge? And then you check them with them and they tell you that you should have used another reactor. So that's not nice, especially if you are the engineer. Now, ignore all costs associated to engineering. Of course, you're going to tell me like, no, you need more streams, you need more pumping, you need more uh, operation cost, whatever. No. We're just going to see right now volume. Let's say volume is our priority. Let's say we live in a very small plant and it's very hard to grow, which is actually the case for many plants. I remember when I was in Germany, there were no space. They got money, but they got no space. So the, the priority there was volume. How to get the same reactions in lower or smaller places. So you will need to have the rates of reaction for every conversion. That, that's true. You're going to have your list and you will need at least various rates of reactions with X. So, okay, you find them. Only one will not help. Oof. Um, we've seen this before, probably you're scared because there are too, lots, uh, too many here. Uh, this is the CSTR. I ordered them from minimum volume to maximum volume. Of course, we want to avoid the one in maximum volume. So look, analyze, and I can actually recommend you to pause the video, try to analyze it for you or yourself, and then I explain you. So hopefully you pause it and you saw it because then I'm going to explain you. Okay, you, I am always choosing 80% conversion. 80% conversion in every case. Imagine the plot of rate of reaction is going downwards here, it's straight here, and it's going upwards here. At 80% you crash with this line and you turn horizontal. This will be your volume. And look that you are not analyzing the area under this curve, which is cool because then you will need more volume. This case is the, let's say, the neutral case because it's the same for PFR and CSTR. You cannot do anything. It's set. You cannot do more. And when you have this uh, type of rate of reactions, you don't want them because you're going to have these X's here. Okay, that that is for CSTR. Now let's go for PFR. I also order it from minimum volume to maximum volume. And look how they invert the same type of rate of reaction, but this time we're not using this volume here. Look, this is empty. We're using only the area under this curve, which is cool. So probably if you have this reaction, please choose a PFR. If you have a reaction like this, you will see that if you were having a CSTR, you will not be using this volume right here. So CSTR will be nice here and CSTR will be nice here. So just take that into consideration. Don't learn it by heart. Learn it by a definition of CSTR is always the algebraic, uh, let's say, mathematic form to get it. And PFR is the integral uh, mathematic way to get the volume. 
And this is what I was telling you guys. The one that goes decreasing and the other one that goes increasing. Let's analyze both cases. Same story I told you before. The green one is PFR. So when you have this type of rates, you don't want PFR because you're going to have these X's. This is the least volume you will need for either reactor. So you will choose a CSTR is the minimum volume you will have. Now, if you have a increasing rate of reaction, look all. If you were to choose a CSTR, you will have all this wasted away. I think CSTR will be worst. So a good guess is always: if you have no idea of the rate of reaction, choose a PFR. Maybe odds are that it's almost 50/50. If it is a decreasing like this one, you will be not that bad as if you choose a CSTR but if you choose this one the odds that you get better are way better so I will choose always if I had no clue I would say PFR in general will give me the least volume and I'm going to do this exercise but I think I'm going to split it in another video so see you What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.